I am Jack Ledrelliano. I am the estate lead for Broadfield and Aresa. So this afternoon, I am very excited to introduce to you, or if I may say so, reintroduce our newest South Luzon estate, Broadfield. Okay. So I know you're all familiar with Ayala Land Estates. And the promise of Ayala Land Estates is to unfold landscapes of possibilities. And it's unfolding this landscape of possibilities, not just for the business units or the, our brothers and sisters in Ayala Land, but also for other businesses. So we do that through the development of our commercial lot districts. So as you know, we develop large tracts of land and through our commercial lot districts, we offer the same opportunities to third parties to develop in these Ayala Land Estates through our commercial lot districts. And I know you're very familiar with our existing South Luzon Estates, Vermosa and New Valley, but this afternoon, we would like to reintroduce to you Broadfield. We say reintroduce because Broadfield used to be an Alveo development before it was transferred to Ayala Land, um, to the estates team earlier this year. And it was launched back in 2019 and Alveo has done a very good job in developing Broadfield. So it's located very near No Valley. So it's in Binyan, Laguna, very near Calax, which makes it very accessible coming from key CBDs such as Alabang, Makati, and BGC. It is comprised of 80 hectares of commercial developments with adjacent developments such as Avea and Venido, um, roughly 40 hectares combined, and of course, the La Salcan Lubang. Uh, back in 2019, Alveo launched the first phase of Broadfield, consisting of 37 hectares or 16 hectares of um, lot or equivalent to 86 lots and roads and open spaces of about 21 hectares. So we remain true to the promise of Alveo of providing very generous open spaces such as the High Street Promenade, which is roughly 600 meters coming from La Salle all the way down to the commercial lot district here. Um, the basic intelligent city features, site resiliency, which we provide through well-designed utility, utility connections, and of course, the focus of all our estates, pedestrian mobility. Okay, this was how Broadfield was introduced back in 2019, and this is probably how most of you know Broadfield. It is the Innovation District of the South. And when it was transferred to us, we had to look at Broadfield through two perspectives. First, we had to look at it as an independent project, a project of its own. Second, we had to look at it vis-a-vis -vis our other South Luzon estates, specifically New Valley. And when we looked at it as an independent project, we observed three things. First of all, it was located right smack in the middle of built-up villages. There were roughly about 19 villages in the area with two condominium complexes. And second, looking at these villages alone from Google Maps, we can see that these are well-populated villages already. When we look at the data of the Philippine Statistics Authority, the five adjacent barangays very near Broadfield have about 38,000 of population count. That's already a lot bigger compared to the other estates that are being handled by Ayala Land. Um, and last but not the least, there are already ready locators in the area. It's right beside Lasal Canlubang. There's already Beacon Academy International School. There's LTI and LTI Annex. There are also Don Bosco and St. Scholastica West Grove. Given its very prime location, we also looked at the second perspective. How do we differentiate Broadfield from our other estates, specifically New Valley, given its very close proximity to New Valley? And we all know that New Valley 
can sort of be seen as Ma the Makati of the South. With that in mind, we had to look at how broad field would further complement that um, positioning of New Valley. And we thought, why not make it the BGC of the South? And so we introduced Broadfield as the estate of the South that will ignite life with passion. And how do we do this? Through four key developments. The first one, we target to unlock a more direct access coming from Calax and the more affluent villages of West Grove and South Forbes. So as you can see, this area, this is called Broadfield Boulevard. We will be building a bridge which is targeted to open by end of 2025, uh, which will connect Broadfield to Laguna Boulevard exit and entry of Calax, and also provide a direct access coming from West Grove and South Forbes villages. Now, the next three um, key developments are a signature of Ayala Land Estates. And these are our activation facilities. So our activation for Broadfield are designed to really ignite life with passion. So these are located along Broadfield Boulevard and University Drive. Um, and we are looking at three activation facilities. First, the Wellness Hub. Second, a thematic playground. And third, a learning center. So what are these developments? First, the Wellness Hub. It is pegged as a modern Balinese uh, retail cluster, which is the place to um, relax and get your treatments. So it's a place where we envision um, the residents of West Grove and South Forbes and even Verdana and San Jose villages um, to visit to get a massage, uh, to get their skin treatments, to get their laser treatments, a waxing salon. It's a cluster of themed retail spaces targeted towards a specific market. So that's the first one. The second one is a learning center. I mentioned before that there, there are already several school locators very near the area. Um, and we know that parents really spend a lot of money uh, just to ensure the future of their kids. And kids even have busier social calendars compared to adults sometimes because of the number of after-school activities um, that they have. So imagine a place where all the therapy sessions for the kids, their ballet lessons, their voice lessons, their kumon, their karate lessons will all be located, including an area where they can do their play dates and um, go to the daycare center. So it's a kid-friendly themed retail facility. It's a cluster of um, retail locators targeted towards a very specific market. And to top it all off, we plan to do a thematic playground. It's the first of its kind here in the Philippines, and it will be comprised of massive play equipment designed to tickle the imagination of kids of various ages. So while the mommies are relaxing in the wellness hub, the kids can either go here or um, in the learning center area. And we are happy to report to you that we plan to open the first phase of this development by the end of 2025. So far, Broadfield is currently at 64% completion already, and it's targeted, the first phase at least, is targeted to be completed by next year. And we opened additional 10 lots, bringing the total available lots of Broadfield to about 20, with varying FAR. So the average price per um, TCP is 160 million with an average area of 1,600. So as you can see, the pricing currently of Broadfield is a lot more affordable compared to the current pricing of New Valley. The restrictions and the allowable uses are similar to the existing restrictions and allowable uses of our other estates. And again, we reiterate 
that we believe in the original vision of Broadfield being a landscape of enterprises. But we feel that it is also a place where we can achieve higher pursuits. With this, we reintroduce Broadfield as the estate that can ignite life with passion. Thank you.